Hello and welcome everybody to a first impressions video about these bullet playing card poker chips. Yeah, playing card poker chips. So they are Metal Slug ABS chips and I purchased these with my own money. So I'm still interested in chips. I'm still purchasing chips. Uh, I bought these for review purposes. All right, so this table was sent to me by Poker Chip Forum. Thank you, Tommy. So I did not pay for this tabletop. And they are a patron, so you know, take that for what it's worth, Poker Chip Forum. And we are gonna play a hand, okay? I just grabbed some cards. These are the Faded Spade. I think these are the 1.0 or 2.0. Oh, these are the Poker Size 2.0. So we're going to do that. So grab your deck if you haven't already and uh, buckle up. So they look pretty good. You know, these are, like I said, metal slugs. So there's a piece of little metal in there, like a metal slug and a ABS plastic layer on the outside here and these labels. You can hear, if you listen, sometimes you can hear these labels shifting because it's imperfect underneath these labels. And so uh, sometimes they don't stick perfectly, but they are considered to be a permanent adhesive. I haven't had a huge problem with these coming off. I've had these for a month and they haven't come off yet. By the way, I purchased these on Amazon. I have a link to my Amazon shop. I think these are in my Amazon shop. You can check the link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Just want to disclose that so you know. Let's have a look at some of the weights and measures here. We are going to weigh these and see what they're going at. Uh, most Metal Slug ABS chips come in around 13 Here's a Monte Carlo chip, 13 and a half, 13 point, yeah, about 13 and a half. So let's see where these come in. Th okay, 14, so a little, you know, half a gram heavier. Hard to tell with an individual chip. If you grab a huge rack of 100 of these, you'll probably feel a difference. Yeah, okay, lovely. What about the width of them. Most chips on the Las Vegas Strip, like Paulson's, are 39 millimeters. But a lot of like ASMs and a lot of ABS chips go, you know, are closer to 40 millimeter than 39. Like these are, yeah, exactly. Closer to 40 millimeters. It's funny when you rotate a chip, like an old casino chip, and it's like a whole millimeter different, half a millimeter different. No, pretty good consistency on that. All right, so to me, first impressions are they look fine, they'll do the trick, but the biggest change I've seen in the last 10 years since I started doing this channel is the refinement of the chips, particularly ABS chips with their flashing. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there is a sharp edge right here where there is flashing from the molding process in the factory. Uh, lots of other chips. Here's some Monte Carlo chips. I purchased these on, okay, can you see this leftover plastic coming off of these chips? That this is flashing from the molding process, okay? So you're gonna get little bits and bobs like that. But these Monte Carlo, I think I bought these from the, what's it called, the poker store? The poker shop? Something like that, online. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it, put some text up or something. These have been polished down, sanded down, so that flashing has been removed. So they're very smooth and easy to shuffle. Wonderful chips, all right? We've seen that for years now, but these are not, don't have that refinement. When you grab a stack of these, I can feel, again, I've been doing this for 10 years, but I can feel those sharp edges right here, and it bothers me. I can feel them on this finger up here too when I put pressure on them. So, you know, for me, that's not something I'm excited about. In the future, they may, you know, decide to smooth those edges out. But until they do, eh, not my favorite feeling chip. They look beautiful though. I love the look of these. That said, my first impression is, now you have all the information, you make your own decision. That's ultimately what it comes down to. Let's play a hand here. This represents the pot. Don't splash the pot. All right, whatever. Should we play red or blue? We're playing blue. All right. Look at these jokers. Look how cool that is. Red and blue joker. All right. Faded Spade 2.0, plastic cards, I almost said chips, beautiful shuffle. All right, you guys shuffling up at home? I'm going to play against 
My forever foe, Jane Doe. It rhymes. There you go. All right. These cards have a texture to them. All right. I'm going to look at my cards today. And we are... There are no betting cycles here. This is just YouTube, everybody. So let us know what you have in the comments below. And see, I screwed that one up. The cards kind of stuck together. One, two, three. Here's the flop. Come on. Here's the river. You know what I had? Check it out. I have the nine. I think I won. There's no way she's going to have a nine ten. Yeah, see, so six. Ha. Ha. I had to double check. How does it feel, Jane Doe? You may have won the battle, but you're going to lose the war. Let us know what you had in the comments below. Everybody's like, we all had straights. I know. I get it. So, how did the chips do? I mean, like I said, they look great. I just wish they were just that extra tiny bit more refined. More chip content coming up on this channel. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to all my patrons. I really appreciate you. It means a lot for your support. And if you would like to join us on Patreon, it's just general support. I have a few behind-the-scenes pictures and videos I post up there occasionally. And you can also visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases, all of that stuff. I'll see you in the next one. My name is John Hobby.